good morning it is day 208 and what an amazing place to wake up to Barokai Philippines loving your white sand and your vibes um, we are just taking a stroll before breakfast actually on the search for my parents and Titioli who are up early they are hardcore and yeah we're gonna go and have breakfast here at the Soria but that was it that was short and sweet one night in the Soria because we missed the other night and we are heading over to another hotel just down the way here for two more nights yeah look no rain feeling good and feeling relaxed It's early, well, early for me, around seven o'clock, and the storm surrounds us on all sides. So I think, yeah, it's definitely going to be wet and windy today, but those blue skies peek through a little bit for the minute. And everyone's come down to the beach. It is a busy old spot, but it's a big, wide, and very flat beach, and it's great to walk on underfoot smooth as well anywhere I've been and uh, I think we're gonna take this opportunity while there is no storm to go and have a little look at these rocks in the background yeah, it's early Thinking maybe you go on the left side. No. I think we're waiting for you. Nice visors. Huh? Nice hats. Yeah, you have one. Too much rocking with Dad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because we've been waiting yeah, for you. It's father who's coming. When you called me, I was still in bed. I know. You have to get up. You know, in here, you don't need to wait for the sunrise. The sun, uh -oh. It's too hot when you come out uh, late. Yeah, it's nice to walk. Look, so many people already. It's not raining. Yeah, yet. it's nice. It's nice, nice weather. You know, what time is it now? About seven. Yeah, so we have to have a seven breakfast. Yeah. More than 35 years mm. ago. More than. Yeah, so it's completely no building. No. Uh, it's all, you know, native house. You know, Filipino house is small. Mm. All the way. Now you can see it's uh, all uh, Airbnb hotels and uh, condo. Condominium. And, and what the, you know, the where the high street is, all the shops, what was that before? Nothing in there. It's only like an open Land. market. Oh, really? Yeah, nothing like that. Yeah, it's only like open market. And of course, I have stopped for some taho. And in the morning, it's nice and fresh. Look, breakfast is not complete without taho. <laughs> what time is it? It's taho time again. Get some of that soy based caramel delight. And behind me, that rocky outcrop that I thought was a boat from a distance has a grotto on top where people are going and taking their photos and having a little worship and what a great choice of location it is nature's natural cathedral right there and you can see well I don't know if you can see the numbers of people who've got up early 
to beat the storm, but it's a wide, wide beach. And apparently Elsa tells me up to about here, there were businesses, buildings and illegal construction basically. So in 2018, when Duterte, the ex-president, shut the island for six months and then extended it to nine months, I think it was all cleared. And it's created an incredible beach. It's so clean. If, if all beaches were like this, it would be the way to go, I think. But then maybe it caused loads of hardship and stuff like that. But I guess illegal building and yeah, you end up on a lot of beaches where you literally have a couple of meters between high tide and it just feels like a very cramped in, condensed and claustrophobic walk down the beach. This feels so open and wide, expansive and hopefully not too expensive. Elsie keeps saying that she wished she had bought a little uh, beachfront plot when she came here 30 years ago because it cost virtually nothing, but then hindsight is 2020, isn't it? While I've got you two both here, do you two know what date it is today? What date? Yeah, what happened 10 years ago today? 10 years ago? <laughs> uh, here, on this place. I know. <laughs> Go on, Tim, what? I'm going to say that I proposed to you. Yeah, so Tim proposed to me 10 years ago today. Ah, is your yeah. anniversary? No, you should know. no, just just when he ended it, when he proposed. Ah, and right. do you remember that day, Mum? Yeah. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> <laughs> what happened of the morning of the day that yes. Tim was about to propose to me? Oh yes. Oh, what happened? Goodness. You said I did, I did not uh, keep a secret. Yeah. Why? That's it? Why? I yeah. Don't know, no. What happened? I told you straight away. <laughs> why? I asked you something. I don't know. Was so, that before or after I had proposed? <laughs> I think it's uh, before, no? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, forget that one. <laughs> so basically, a few hours before Tim proposed to me, my mum called me up and said, Oh, Sarah, I am. Um, I give you my uh, my approval that, uh, that you know, Tim discussed with your dad that um, you were going to get married. And yeah, so I knew all day. Did you know the story, Tita? So all day, my mum phoned me a few hours to, and told me, oh, your dad um, spoke to Tim and, and mm. said that, you know, you're going to get married and I approve. Yeah. And obviously I didn't know. Yeah, no, so <laughs> look, my mum's trying to change the subject. Yeah, no, and true. then, and then... It's all right, Elsie. The yeah. time has passed. Well, I know, I it is all right. Don't repeat and then, <laughs> and then all day I had to feel, I, I didn't know it was happening that day. And then when Tim proposed to me, I had to act surprised. Yeah. I, oh, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know the surprise, did I? If you tell me, <laughs> uh, uh, if, if you tell me it's a surprise, it's a secret, then I keep as a secret. But, but I don't think it's a I, I don't think I know that it's a surprise. So, you know, like people uh, propose and they ask, you know, the, the father mm. um, for their hand. Yeah. And then it's normally a, a big reveal, isn't it? Do you not know about that? No? So basically, do not tell Elsie anything you want to be kept secret. Yeah, no. and if you do... Sometimes you mean surprise, surprise, don't, don't tell her. Now, una na rin siya. Yeah. <laughs> Nilaga. What's Nilaga? Ah, bold. Ah, uh, hard bold banana. Ah, oh, banana. Uh, and um. the other uh, main uh, uh, complaint of the visitors, Boracay must have public CR. Yeah. Yeah. Nice public CR. Yeah, number yeah. one. Behind me is now an area that is preserved and it was the old homes that when we visited 30, 35 years ago with what was here. No, none of the modern buildings and yeah, they've cordoned it off. Corded it off? Cordoned it off so you can preserve what was once here. And yeah, I really like these huts. They're natural, they blend in with nature. They're not too garish and yeah. I guess that's the traditional huts of the Philippines and Morocco.
and it's breakfast time at the Astoria. We've got all the pastries, the cakes, the cheese on bread. Yes, cheese on bread. Some ubi cakes. And then we have salads. All the hot food. We have longanisa, which is sweet sausage, some chicken, rice, and over there you have the egg station and pancakes and bacon. Why not? Breakfast is finished, and yeah, buffets they are great but I need to stop eating so much. I am going to struggle to work all this off, especially when I'm not really doing any exercise. And I think we have found Rudy's next vocation. He's just been explaining to me how you can uh, yeah, eat as much as possible at the buffet. And the secret to success is, yeah, work your way through slowly and don't rush yourself. It's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Um, and yeah, I think they could make a good professional eating squad. They are on it, definitely getting their money's worth and Elsie proudly sporting the VIP visor. Elsie, are you going to be wearing your visor all day today so everyone knows you're a VIP? Are you going to be wearing your visor all day because you're, you're a VIP now? <laughs> or perhaps going for a game of tennis. And before we head over to, good morning. And before we head over to our new accommodation and check out to, of the Storia, we are heading to look for some laundry. It's time for the laundry run and to my surprise, yeah, Rudy was really excited to come along. He has been an avid follower of our blog. And I think his favourite part is when we get to go to do laundry. So, yeah, I think I'm going to play a little game with him and we're going to play Guess the Weight of the Laundry. And I, my money's on me. I'm pretty good at this. I've had a lot of experience. Look, he's, he's storming ahead. and I'm trying to get one bed into the other room. They haven't been replying to me, so I've checked and it's all cool. Yeah, just having a little look around, they have a little small form. This is your dining area. All private photos, paintings. We couldn't wait to get here. We've come and checked it out and made sure that they can do the room rearrangement configuration that we need. And it's a little rooftop pool. Yeah, so not one I'll be getting in, but it's, it's cool. Some nice artwork on the walls, and of course, we've got the power tools because the construction is going on all around here, and we're going to couple that with what looks like a rooster farm next door. So, yeah, it's going to be a nice early start. Maybe it helped me uh, get going with a kickstart in the morning. Okay, we're off. Let's go and find that laundry. One thing you do have to account for when you are traveling with a crew of Filipino OAPs is, yeah, you, we need to stop to figure out when and where we're going to eat and there will be numerous meriendas along the way. So yeah, double or triple the journey time, I would say. What's your dad found? Bachoy. Okay, bachoy. Not sure I've had that. No, it's like a soupy type. Uh, is it fishy? Yeah. And we are going to praise the Lord because we are on our way. Let's 
go and do that laundry. Let's question Dad. He has been following our travels from day one, haven't you, Dad? That's you and right, Mum yeah, committed yeah. to watch all our videos without fail. What was your funniest moment? What made you laugh? Well, uh, I think I remember when Tammy said, I'm gonna get wet here soon. <laughs> and that's it. I said, uh, it get, it get run over by the wave. Sudden, sudden uh, attack of the wave. Yeah. And he was not prepared. He thinks he can run away from it, but <laughs> no chance. And I've got a question for you, Rudy. That was my favorite yeah. Are you happy you've finally been able to come on a laundry run with us? Of course, yeah, yeah. I thought that was going to be your favourite bit, the laundry run. <laughs> but it was me falling over in the water. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, look, what can you say about this Boracay? There's no, no place like this. Happy people, friendly. They are so uh, smiling. They, they're not, uh, you know, like uh, prejudice, maybe. But they just mind their own business. You can smile to them. You could speak to them, talk to them nicely, and you can make a good conversation. No doubt about it. The best place to to visit is uh, like this in Philippines. Yeah. Lots of foreigners come here and. We could uh, encourage more people, their friends, to come here. Come to Boracay, come to Boracay. I would say that the story here in Boracay is more like a hotel than a resort. Um, station 3 is bigger than Station 1 here. Um, and everyone seems to be friendly. I did notice that the staff in Port Princesa were actually more friendly. Every staff you walk past, they would look at you, make eye contact and say hello. Here, only a few, but they are friendly here. Um, in terms of the room, the room, I think because this is a mini break, which is a free, a free offering with my parents' timeshare, we didn't get like the luxurious accommodation that we did like in Porta Princesa. So we are a little bit in the back, no windows. So I think, you know, maybe getting something with a balcony would be better, but the room size is good. It's clean. It's got the facilities in there, spacious, um, but not as spacious as Porta Princesa. In terms of food, oh, self-service. No, we want to find something. Oh no, maybe. Oh no, 210 per load. No, let's move on. Um, in terms of uh, the buffet, the buffet is great. Huh? Yeah, 280, but it was 100 per load. Oh, we can, we can check. Hold on, we can check. Um, they're disturbing my flow. But in terms of breakfast, breakfast they were offering um, similar service, but we did find in Porto Princess that the food was a bit more yummier and better selection for us. But yeah, it was good. You are on the beach here. And that's the difference here. You are on an amazing beach and the hotel is, is good. Uh, but in Porto Princesa, the resort was amazing, but the beach not so good. So um, it was all right. I got to get in the sea, but not as white sand as this place. Okay, so the most oh, important yeah. thing still with Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. Yeah. Rudy and I have played the competition of how much laundry do we have. I'm saying that that bag weighs five kilo, uh, six kilos, and you're saying? Less than four, uh, four to five. Four to five, okay, let's see who's got it. Oh, you're right, Rudy. What? Rudy wins four and a half kilos. <laughs> And also, the area that we did the other day, why is it so expensive in El Nido, is because there was wet clothes yes. and the bag was heavier. So don't put wet clothes because it makes it heavy. Let's see this one. Go on, try that. What do you think that is? Mr. Less than a kilo. Less than a kilo? Yeah. Oh yeah, one and a half. One and a half. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Rudy, you are uh, the human. Make you, make you happy. That's why I said. <laughs> Otherwise, if I am right again, you feel sad. Yeah, uh, uh, you are the human weighing scale, Rudy. I give you a chance. Thank you. Oh, okay. Salamat po. Thank you. So I think this is really, really good. It's per machine, so it's between one to eight kilos at 280 pesos, where in El Nido it was 100 per kilo. And we had six and it was about 600 pesos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was about 10 pounds. Here it's about one, two, three. About four pounds, so half the price. Robbery, daylight robbery, Dad. Robbery. Robbery. It's a robbery, I tell you. I could see robbery. that. What's that? Shillong Cafe. Oh, uh, guess what? That's a cafe. Okay, let's go there then. Yeah, 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 yeah.